Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be sewing a bonnet. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start off with a pre-cut template that I already cut out. As you can see, this bonnet is 14 inches. Um, I like using bigger bonnets because it gives it's large enough to give you enough room for your hair. And if you want to go extra large, you go up size like 17 or 18 inches. Now once you have your fabric cut out, you want to make sure you have right sides together. So that means shiny sides are facing each other. And once that's done, you want to pin your fabric in place all the way around. So when you start sewing, it holds everything together. And remember to keep a gap in between um, the fabric because we're going to flip this inside out. So we're going to flip our fabric inside out and um, once we get it flipped inside out, I like to flatten my, my bonnet and um, by doing that, I like to iron it. So that way it gives it a more professional look and it's easier to see, you know, all the nicks and crannies in the bonnet. So now we're going to take our elastic that's measuring 21 and a half inches and it's also pinned with a safety pin at the end of it because you're going to need that to chase your uh, elastic inside and you'll see what I'm talking about in the next clip. Um, this step helps me. It's optional. You don't have to trace it all, you know, chase. You don't have to trace your elastic all the way around if you're an eyeball type of person but again, it helps me. All right, so now we're gonna sew all the way around our bonnet without leaving any gap and using our guide that we use to trace out with the chalk. And try to sew straight as possible. Don't be in a rush. Take your time. So now we're going to uh, chase our elastic 
through the loop that we left inside the bonnet, starting with the safety pin first. So you're gonna insert your safety pin first, and the safety pin is gonna help be your guide. So as you're chasing it through, you're gonna notice that your fabric is starting to gather. And once that's complete, you want to go over to your sewing machine and you wanna overlap the ends of the elastic bands and you want to sew them together. And I apologize that my hands are in the way, but I hope you guys get a gist of what I'm doing and can follow along better. And then the last step, we're gonna tuck and fold in our uh, fabric, the raw edges of the fabric into the casing. And we're going to stitch along the end of the bonnet. And this is the final product. I also added my logo, Wraps by Brat, because I will be putting these on display on my website for purchase. And I will put the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time, bye.